I consider myself very lucky to be based here in the Forest of Dean because in my opinion it's one of the most wonderful wildlife spots in the entire country. Now hopefully you'll get to experience some of that wildlife for yourself when you come to stay with us. Even if you don't directly see the wildlife, there are signs everywhere once your eye gets trained in. So I'm going to offer you some top tips to become a wildlife detective. So the animal that the forest is most famous for is the wild boar and there are signs of boar everywhere. The most clear and obvious one is the upturned soil. So this is where the boar have been rooting around looking for anything edible. Roots, bulbs, tubers, beetles, bugs, grubs, truffles if they're very lucky. And all of this is a natural process. They're rotivating the soil which aerates it, it can increase plant diversity and also it benefits ground feeding birds like thrushes, blackbirds and robins. Now wild boar can't thermoregulate in the same way as humans, so to keep cool they'll mud wallow. And you'll often find these wallows close to water courses such as rivers and streams. So by mud wallowing the boar is protecting itself from the sun, it's keeping cool and it's also offering comfort from parasites and insects. After a good mud wallow, boar like to enjoy a vigorous scrub. So when you become attuned to it, you start to notice their favourite scratching posts all over the forest. So what you're looking out for are trees with a dried mud base, a dried earth base. So if we go a bit closer, we can see the height of the boar. And let's look really close, we'll start to see some coarse boar hair stuck to the tree. So this is a clear sign that wild boar have been here vigorously rubbing against this tree.